Broskis and broskets, you ask me for longer videos and I'm delivering. And honestly, this job is the right job for that because there's just so much to say. I mean, where the fuck should I really even start, bro? I got called for this job about two months ago. It was a contractor that I worked with before and he calls and asks me about this job. He explained the scope of work and it sounded pretty straightforward. So I priced it over the phone. It didn't need any major fucking calculations, I thought. So simple job, replace the two main valves, replace the speedy valves, install a bathroom sink, a kitchen sink, and a stove, all on existing roof. It sounds like a piece of cake, right? Nope, it never is. Usually the deal with most of the contractors that I work with is that they open the walls, the floors, and the ceilings for us, and we just lay the pipe, of course. In this job, I got played, as you see, so we had to chop it up ourselves. I guess I deserved it, though, because the whole combo was done over the phone, and there was no written proof anywhere for me to use. So no problem, I'll let this slide and break it up. Very carefully, though, because the water was still on, and you never know what happens with these old pipes. Once the wall is open, I call the super and tell him that we're ready for him to turn the water off. This guy goes like, how long will it take? I told him two hours just in case because we had to also reconnect the lines back. Two hours he says, why so long? I'm like, what do you mean? That's like an unwritten rule for shutdowns that they must be a minimum of two hours. Yeah, he said, but everyone finishes earlier. Then I'm like, super, turn the water off and I will let you know when I'm done, alright? Okay, he said. The next bullshit was that the toilet feed didn't seem to be connected to these two old gate valves which means that I would not be able to change it after the shutdown so we had to change it during the shutdown just in case but even that shit was nothing compared to the real fuckery coming up broski while cutting the studs to open up more space my guy nicked the cold water riser with the sozo and it was a good nick too Oh man, what a stressful situation that was. I had just gotten the smartwatch too, but that shit couldn't even read the heartbeats at the moment, cause I was trying to check. It started bugging the fuck out and kept crashing, bro. Now I was in a major pickle. What was I gonna do? I couldn't change the pipe, it was going straight down. And as you see, space was very limited. The bathroom was fucking tiny. The toilet was super close and it would have to be removed, which wasn't even part of the price that I had given. Also, this was back to back. I had the other apartment in front, had another apartment below, fucking apartments all over, broski. Seriously, man, it was crazy. I was getting very frustrated. The super, on the other hand, kept calling me because he wanted to turn the water back on. I took a minute to calm down and then went back and checked the pipe. I noticed that it was not punctured, so I said, fuck it. I'm gonna do this the shoemaker way cause I got screwed enough for this month. I cleaned the brass pipe well until that shit changed color. Then fluxed it up, heated it up, fluxed it again and then packed that shit up with solder. I'm sure you noticed that I didn't record this part but I had to remove all distractions and f did the fix myself because that's how I relax in situations like this. You can see the nick in the old pipe though, right below the street elbow. You can also th see the solder, I'm sure, because it looks like a pimple on the pipe. Finally, we install the valves and tell the super to turn the water on to hopefully get him off our back. And I say that because there's a possibility that it could leak. Thank God it was all Gucci though, bro, so the super can calm his tits and we can leave to the next job. But then, I remember that I have to remove the trap and the nipple of the sanitary tea since I have the space. So we open up the tiles a bit more. There's no way that it, we could just loosen it by hand, so I use the hammer trick. By banging the wrench with the hammer, it's more powerful and loosens old drain nipples almost every time, bro. As I'm loosening it, it seems like that shit would not stop twisting. It finally comes off and of course another fuckery follows. Part of the threads of the galvanized nipple had become one body with a sanitary tea and the new threads would not catch. Bro, it was like it was welded. I tried cleaning it up with the wire brush and some WD-40, 
and then chiseled out pieces with a flathead screwdriver and a hammer. I struggled a bit with it, but it eventually came off, and the new nipple thread caught easily. So finally, we were ready to get the fuck out of there until the finishes were ready for us. I checked the heartbeats graph after, bro, and I'm telling you, that shit looked like an amazing roller coaster ride. Like, if they had that as a ride at Six Flags, it would be the most popular ride, broski. I learned two very important lessons from this job. I'm never not never pricing out jobs over the phone again and also I'm always including an extra charge for jobs like these in the future I'm gonna call it the unexpected fuckery shit fee that should cover me for situations like these cause you know I've been in situations like these a lot lately